back, I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 3, Episode 22 of Supergirl. I think the title of the episode is Making It Rain or something like that, but I'm excited because last episode I really didn't enjoy it that much because, you know, I was waiting for the fallout of what it was, you know, the fact that Sam and Rain got separated and I honestly wanted to see more about Sam and we got nothing. So we just got those... I don't know, 10 seconds with them uh, showing that something is wrong with Sam. So I'm excited to watch that in this episode. I hope that... I think this is part one of the season three finale. So I'm excited to watch how they are going to end this. I, for no reason, want to lose Sam. I think Sam has been a great addition to the Supergirl cast for this season. And I hope that we get to see so much more of her on season three but i don't have high hopes for that because i believe that the supergirl writers are not as smart enough to notice that they have an amazing character who they have developed not deeply but at least we have seen a lot of her she's an established character and for a show that struggles with building characters up i don't think they have the they should have the luxury or believe they have the luxury of losing a character that they have been building up on an, on an entire season. We know a lot about Sam, a lot of people love Sam and Ray has been an amazing villain, Odette is amazing playing both characters, so it will be really stupid in the general terms of, of things to lose a character like Sam when Supergirl struggles so much on building characters up. So, I don't know, it, it, and this is not me talking about any ships or anything, it's just me honestly wanting Sam to continue on the show and, and to have not even a redemption arc because she has done nothing bad, but to see her struggle with what Rain did. I want to know if Sam knows that Rain killed her mother when they were still sharing the same body. I, I want to know more about her. I want to know about her struggles. I, I She's an, an independent single mom and that is big and that is amazing and, and she's smart and, and uh, like we need more of Sam. I think everyone regardless of who you ship anyone with you can say about this character that it's much needed on Supergirl. So yeah, I'm excited to watch uh, this new episode. I hope you guys are excited as well. I couldn't do my reaction. I normally react to it during the night, but I went to the movies last night to watch Ocean's 8 and I was like, fuck Supergirl. Like, I, I want to watch Ocean's 8. So uh, I sacrificed my uh, reaction last night to go and watch that movie and it was amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Please give it a thumbs up if you love Supergirl. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 3, Episode 22 of Supergirl. Where's the ship? It's gone. Where's the ship? Me talking about Supergirl. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. This is just as the prophecy I don't like this told. girl cat. I don't like it. Did you? How do we do? Oh, Arya's dad. Well, assist. Trying to make him look human. evil is not Best working. Dad. That's Arya's dad. To the daughters of Jerome. Shut up. Go back to Arya. This is what happened to Byron when he found out about Ezra. <laughs> he, be <laughs> he became evil. I hate that. <laughs> she has sores there. It's an atlas. Of the Earth. I've seen these Earth. writings before. In Kobo's journal. Their instructions. <laughs> instructions. Look at that Mom? big ass house. Love me some powerful woman. It was a mistake. Yeah, you were trying to protect her. But okay. here's the truth. And Alex and they're gonna get to the bottom of this, okay? Yes. Okay? Kind of a family. Anything in this world. How can you kill her? Please don't kill I her ever. I you I will never keep you in the dark again. Okay. But Sam is technically Kryptonian, right? She is. She should stop looking for this and just adopt Ruby. I'm just saying. And marry Sam. To say goodbye. Oh no! Time to a 
actually say goodbye to someone you love, that is a lot. Need the great gift for my son. Yes, space out, space out, don't cry. Another place. Okay, to spend time with you, right? Oh yes, true. Oh, I wanna cry. Should I get this? I don't want to cry, dude. It has an enormous heart. Oh. There is no need for watering of the eyes, child. <laughs> watering of the All eyes. Of life, you must get the star for Kola and go. Yes, father. Bless the heart for that man. Oh my God. It's happened enough. This is so sad. Oh, this is so sad. I hate this. Oh. Carrot and terraform the earth. Wait, what? It's almost a pity, really, that you won't be around to see it. <laughs> we have to get out of here. It's a trap. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We need to get her help. What the fuck happened? I was better, Alex. Oh. <laughs> I was attacked. I was attacked. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe how much I shook this too. Oh my god, I'm gonna repeat that. Just just because I didn't hurt her, okay? Wait, hold on. Oh my god, what's the time with the deal ring? What what is happening? Lena, Lena. Agent Rain or Agent Corp? Because we have been this we have been blessed this weekend with Kyler and Katie's uh, panel thing. Agent Rain or Agent Corp? I'm still leading a lot more to Agent Corp, I mean Agent Rain, because I don't, I obviously I see chemistry here, but I don't know how this will happen. Sam, your blood cells have mutated. What? Before they, I've not fought this hard to lose now. Yeah, true. Uh, oh! Oh! Like, I shipped them, I okay, shipped them. Can you fix her with the sun? Yellow sun lamps. She's right. The sun lamps should heal you. We're going to supercharge you. Roy's so smart, just like her mother's and Lena. What is he doing? Yo, Demos. I fucking was about to, Punch like. Me. Finally. <laughs> Did I even, like, ask for that? What is that? Eh? <laughs> oh no, I don't wanna cry. This is gonna die, isn't he? This is gonna die. May my suffering appease the dark gods and no, grant us like, our salvation. Rain. So she's gonna come back. Oh my god. He didn't die? Damn it. I know where you can find it. Of course you do, bitch. See if the hair and I will rejuvenate yourselves. Okay. I don't understand shit about this. Just do it, Lena. You're doing amazing. Looking fabulous as always, Lena. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> I promise, okay? I love your family. Stay strong. Oh. You have my heart. I swear. Father, <laughs> just don't share them with your imaginary friends, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh no, I don't want to cry, dude. I don't want to cry. We could make this hour. as they have filled me up. So sweet that, you know, he believes this is so important to him. And even if Jones is skeptical or like okay, sad about it, so really it means a lot time. to him. And yeah, I just seen a few powerful. minutes throughout the power from Marco's so main grid. In fact, I'm surprised that you're still there. I thought you were going to call the Legion and go straight back to the future. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was. Always the hero. Mm. Yeah. Don't force it. Don't. That's that's really. I lost her once. When. I'm not sure I can do it again. Okay. You need to is obvious. But he's he married. He's happy. But he's married. Do you love him? Oh no, that's that's not an easy question to answer. He's Why not? married. There was a history between us. Complications. And he's married. When this crisis. Something is gonna happen. Oh no. Oh shit. What happened? We got this. Come on. Try it, try to open it. Work faster! So they are there for the blow. Oh my god. 
I love how badass they look though, so Lean especially, she's really hot as well. But oh my god, they are evil. Look at Selena, she's really she's really pretty. <laughs> Bitch please. <laughs> oh no, stop it! So they're here for the blood, right? Why the other one snap? We were drawn by the Britain. <laughs> I love Alex. How is she gonna fight three great totems? Uh... She has kryptonite? Hello. Wait, I thought no one had kryptonite. Like, Clark took all the kryptonite. Why does she have kryptonite and... So is it okay for her to use it but not Lena? Hello. Monel, can you hear me? It's Kara's mother. <laughs> Stop grabbing your thing. You're not your thing, actually, but... Oh, it works! <laughs> she can still throw you up. I love that. I'm sorry, Wayne. Your friend was back. Bitch! Vita! Oh, oh it was close. Laura, how did you survive? I'm faster than I look. <laughs> She's gonna paint. She's gonna make her touch it. We have to go. Oh my god, yes! Yeah, true, true. Oh my god, she's so smart. Oh my god. That's gonna hurt the Kryptonian. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so smart. Ruby, oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. Don't escape me for long. Ah! Yes, see. Thank god. Destroy it! I see you found the blood of us. Destroy it! Yours! Alex! Shoot it again! Ah! No! Stop! Oh my god! Alex! Yes! Oh my god! Yes, Alex! I don't know how you're doing that, but the grip tonight, I guess. Destroy this shit already! Try to through the toilet or something, I don't know! Definitely gonna have kids if like if you keep on like this. Oh no, yes, yes, Alex, yes! Oh my god! I love her. I'm surprised Selena kept you. You were never very smart. Oh my god! <laughs> what did you say, you bitch? <laughs> that was so stupid, but it worked. Oh my god! She's a little lady though. I'm coming with you. But she also has a suit! Oh, I am. That's great. It's broken again. Awesome. Oh! My dude! My dude! Break them! He has the blood. Oh my god. Turn it on! Oh my god, what is he gonna do? would know that caring makes Destroy you... it already with your eye vision! Give me the blood. Yes! Fuck you! Ah! You actually gave that to that car! You're so stupid! Oh my god! Cora! Oh my god! Poor dude! Oh, see me looking for her family! Oh my god, I love that. She went and take it with her family, so I love it! I have no idea what is happening. I think I know what's wrong with Sam. What? Oh my god, she's so smart? All of that with a drop of blood. This is it. right here with us. <gasps> I know! Carl was an idiot. Oh no. If they're regular She's back. we should be able to track them down. Unfortunately, I think we do. So <gasps> we should be <gasps> I, 
you know what? Give me any combination of like Agent Corp, Super Corp. Uh, what is the name of this one? Uh, Rain Corp, Super Rain Corp. Any combination, I will take it. Okay. I don't look at them. This is Rain Corp. I need to be here. This involves me. Oh, sweet. I was I'm sick. I'm going back to the dark valley. Oh my God. So, you're too weak. Oh my god, no, wait, wait, wait. This is my agent Ray Hart. I love it. Okay, it's settled. I'm going back to the dark valley. So, you're too weak. We don't have brain to get in trouble. I'm willing to take if it means ending rain and saving the world. This is a hero. See? She's a hero. Oh my god. I promise you, I am not dying today. Thankfully, you're not a lesbian. Because if you are, still bitter about that. <laughs> I'm always gonna be bitter about that. Oh shit. And she has pestilence as well, so... Oh, shit. And then she has a sword. So she reverses with the mask on. But she lost her mask. I fucking hate Byron, I swear to God. Not for you. To bitch. Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him already, I don't care. See, what was he expecting? Seriously. Oh, your boyfriend win! I mean... How you doing, man? Oh, hi. Oh. You and your family rescued my daughter. I am indebted to you. Well, sometimes I think she's the one that rescued us. Sam's ready. Oh shit, go kiss her. And your mom is a badass. Oh yes she is! She can handle it, okay? You are a badass. No. I'm ready. Oh, poor thing. Oh my god. A child. All those voices, oh my god, my child. Why do they always fall? God damn it. What is she doing? Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? You can save the city. Let's go. Stay One last fight. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god. I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, yes, John! It's my son's own. Yeah. I intend to save it with him. Yeah. Oh, my God, me. Oh. Oh, my God. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rain. A second thought about this? Gonna die. Is Rain gonna die as well? Oh no, that's the end? Oh fuck off. Damn it. Okay guys, that was the end of episode 22 of season 3 of Supergirl. Okay, this was a really good episode. Really good episode. Uh, but I am afraid that, you know, sometimes Supergirl tries to tackle so many things at the same time. And in this episode, it I, I don't think there was a dull moment. If everything was happening so fast. There were moments where I... If I had put the episode together, I will decide to do some things different in time of writing. One will be a deep conversation between Ruby and her mother. I think it was much needed. And especially since they don't know if Sam is going to make it after this, I will have loved to see Sam aware of that because I think she is aware of that and Sam asking one of her friends to protect Ruby, you know? I think that you're missing those little important parts for the episode, replacing it with... And here's the thing, there is no much other things to replace. Like, the one only scene that I could come up, come in, like, think that I could have you know, just swipe left and dismiss that scene to have the one that I just said is the 
Kara allure conversation about Monel is it's not relevant to the main plot as much as I believe a conversation where Sam asks everyone, Lee Nauer, Alex, to please take care of Ruby if something happens to her. Those kind of things are sometimes what Supergirl lacks. I, I don't think that there's any other dull moment during the episode that you could get rid of. Maybe the, well, it was needed, the explanation with the belt, Wynn's belt, could also, like, make it a lot shorter to have other talks that are much needed to give you more impact in case you decided to kill Sam or in case you actually decide to make Sam survive. Uh, because you have to understand, this season has been building up to the fact that Sam, to the Sam Rain situation. It, everything has been about this villain and the series, the, the entire season has been about this one single villain. So, I will have preferred that. I'm not complaining, I'm not saying, oh my god, those scenes ruined the episode or anything, no. Because like I said, there was no dull moment. But I believe that Supergirl tries to, to, to shock you in many ways. That, and have you like a lot of storylines at the same time, and sometimes they don't take care of little things that, you know, then are replaced by people just, you know, throwing head cannons at what could have happened, what will, you know, and uh, I feel like it should have, it, it should, it will make a bigger punch if you had that, those scenes. The only thing that makes me believe that the decision of not having that written in on the episode, it's because maybe they are not going to kill Sam and those conversations are not needed. But, you know, with Supergirl, this is a the thing. There is, there is shows like Agents of Shield, Game of Thrones, and all and the ball type. You know, shows that um, you can't expect good writing and good. I don't know to execute the episodes in a better way than Supergirl. You know, and and it's something. It's so sad to see that because. I was re-watching an episode of season one of Supergirl and it's com like you can completely like it's completely different after it moved to the CW and it's sad because it was so strong in season one and now it's not saying that this has been a bad season because I honestly I have enjoyed it but it lacks of things you know and and, and they do it for shock value or things like that you know and for instance last episode i think it will have been a lot better to have sam say you know what guys you saved my life hey let's have dinner i'm gonna make dinner for all of you and having all the friends notice is that by the time they it was going uh by sam got a lot weaker and we will have a lot more conversations a lot more development than just go right at it you know and uh I don't know, I think that, I, I'm not, I don't want to, well, yes, Supergirl lacks of, of, of that, of, of following the, the natural way of, of writing. It's, it's so, let's do this, this, and that, and like, they, they it's so structured in a way that it doesn't flow together, you know what I mean? There, there was honestly no need for the gun control episode in the previous episode. There was no need. If you want to tackle that, then make it actually believable, you know, and make it actually that you can um, integrate it with the main plot. It was unnecessary. The only fallout of the previous episode, gun control thing, was for now to have that belt that easily, without the gun control episode, Wing could have made that shield for the agents uh, and you wouldn't have had that and you will have a lot more with the main plot, you know? Um, but anyways, this episode was it was good. I'm not saying it was bad. I was entertained during the entire episode. Um, I think that they are not addressing the fact that I am up for caramel. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm up for caramel if it doesn't make the story look bad, because you have to understand this, Kara is the super 
the superhero on the show. She's Supergirl, you know? The show is titled Supergirl. You don't want people saying that Supergirl, well, that Monel cheated on his wife with Supergirl, you know? For whatever reason, he got married with Imra. And yes, I understand their conversation about him figuring it out. But by the time they were having that conversation, he already figured it out that he wanted to stay. So he should, you know, just said, they, the writers, and this is not the fault of the characters. It's just the writers who just didn't want to let go of that love triangle shit. And they should have just said, yes, Monel, I know that you love Kara. And Monel will say, yes, I do. And okay, we're going to end this in a friendly way, mature way, because I know that you love me and respect me and you're not going to do anything. Because he, up until before that conversation, he was staying, trying to trying, you know, because it was hard for him to stay away from Kara. But then they have that conversation and he feels like he said, he, it feels like he was just getting a free pass to cheat on his wife. He's still married, he still hasn't finished, like, ended his relationship. And yes, they didn't kiss, but why will the writers continue with this stupidity of the love triangle where there isn't any love triangle there? Just let the man live, like, he truly loves Kara. And I believe Carl loves him. So why will you continue having him marry with Imra? It's just stupid. It's just stupid. And creates unnecessary drama. And it creates this, you know, they have a really fine line with Monel because of everything he did. For a lot of people like myself, we have grown to love and care mo about Monel because he has changed and all of that. But having the freaking, having him still being married and it's, and having him it lead, it leads to conversations of saying it's in a gray area you know and when you some people will say no he's not cheating some other people will rightfully say that he is you know and it's just and this comes down to awful writing the necessity of have drama where there shouldn't be any drama because Cara and Munel are in love and they should be together you know, and they, they, I honestly do believe that they could be endgame. Because they, like, you can say a lot of things. But Monel loves Kara and Kara loves Monel. There's no denying of that. So, why to continue creating this unnecessary drama? Why? Why? Just put them together, for fuck's sake. It's just, it's like, it's, an, it's, it's stupid. That conversation with Imra, they should have broke things up for real and not leave anything to... Oh, if you come back and just give the illusion that he is still in the relationship and if he doesn't work with Kara, he will come back to Imra. You know what I mean? It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary and that decision, it's bad because it makes Caramel looks bad. And I don't want that. I honestly do want um, uh, Kara uh, to be with someone that I believe, and I said this during season two, someone who I believe deserves to be with her. And I do believe that's Monel right now, minus the whole Imra thing. It's just stupid, in my opinion. Anyways, moving on from that, uh, the. What is his name? John's dad? Memory? Memory? I don't know. But the dude, oh my god, it was just so beautiful to see that. You know, and and having Jean navigate this entire season, uh, having a dad, having someone who is, we have, because we have always seen Jean as this, you know, the boss and like he has everything under control and he's uh, wise and all of that. But seeing him as a son and seeing him with uh, pleading eyes, just knowing that this is the end for his dad and not being ready to let go. And it was, it's just so beautiful that they have respected, you know, all the Martians' uh, 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 rituals and religion. And just seeing the dad's face, just, you know, so happy that he gets to do this with his son. That it's so important for him to do it because uh, it's part of their religion, it's part of their tradition. And it was just so beautiful. I... One thing I have to applaud the Supergirl writers, they did manage to make that story so beautiful and uh, I just, and now with the sacrifice that he's about to make just to save the home that he will let to his son to live, you know, 
Uh, it's just, it, it's powerful. It, they gave it, at least they gave it the time for him to explore that and to, for us to see it and witness that really important part because it does build uh, Jean's character up. It's sad that we're gonna see uh, Mimur, Mimur, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, gone, but it's necessary. No, it's not necessary, it's just, it's natural. You know, it's it's what happens with old people. You know, he has lived for a long time, he's sick, he needs, you know, he has to go. He doesn't have to, but it's how life works. You know, you uh, eventually outlive your parents, and it's sad, but it happens. And it was, it's done beautifully, you know. I, I think that it, it's, if I have to say one of the best stable things on the show has been that progression with Jean and his dad. It has been amazing. And, you know, also throwing Alex in into this whole mix. Uh, you know, the granddaughter. I guess I feel like it was like that, that feeling that uh, he had. And it was just beautiful. And the fact, you know, in this world, and, and especially in their world, sometimes you don't get to say goodbye and to have the luxury of saying goodbye to such an amazing person. It's something that eventually you will be grateful to be to have that opportunity. So it was beautiful. It was beautifully done. And uh, also with Alex, I love the fact that Alex and Lena have have actually been working together. And there is this thing when the first time when they were investigating what was wrong with Sam, uh, Alex was, "I'm gonna figure it out," you know. And then Lena said, "We all will." And now in this time. Both of them were trying to help together, working together to try to save Sam, which it was honestly, it was beautiful, beautiful, and I, you know, it just gets to tell you how much of a family they all are, and I love that. Um, yeah, I really honestly love that. I think that that it. it it was one of the good decisions in this episode to have that. Also, I th still think that there should have been a conversation between Sam, Lena, and Alex, or Sam and Alex, or Lena and, and Sam about the whole Ruby situation and all that. It was needed. It, I, I still feel it, it was needed. Um, but yeah, also, Alex has, has Kryptonian bullets and Kryptonian things to add to her suit. And where did she got the kryptonite? Did she make the kryptonite? Or did she have it store? Does Kara know about it? Because Kara was making such a big deal about having kryptonite around. And Alex now has it? It's kind of like double standards. Because, and especially since Kara knows Lena so well because of, of Kara's and, and, and Lena's relationship and friendship. Uh, so it, it just, it makes the whole Car is upset about, with Lena about the kryptonite thing. It's really stupid because if Alex has it and she loves and respects Alex, so she really doesn't consider Lena as a best friend or really all the things that Kara says about Lena being good and all that. Is that a lie? Because if you can like I understand the duality of Kara Danvers and Kara and and Supergirl. I understand that, but at the same time. They're just one person, and you either trust someone or you don't. It's, there's no middle point. So if Carl always says that she trusts Lena, how is it that when she had the kryptonite, yes, I could freak out a little bit, but let her explain and trust that she wasn't going to use it for anything evil, because I know her, because she has this knowledge as Kara of who Lena is, but as Supergirl, she freak, flipped out. Like, it's, it's really... It's stupid, and it's... She's being a hypocrite, in my opinion. Because if Alex has it, come on. And I, I'm not saying that Lena and Alex are in the same place for for Kara, because Alex is her sister, and yes, I understand that. But also that kryptonite could have been stolen and could have hurt her and things like that, you know. But and with Lena, that's the person you say is your best friend. So I don't know. Anyways. That's all I want to say. I hope that, that that by the season finale, we finally, fucking finally, 
Simonelle saying we are getting a divorce. I want him to say that because it's it's doing the character dirty. It's doing I hate that they're doing that to the character again. You know, they're putting him in that position of a cheater when he's not because his heart is with Kara, but they have to stop with the Emra thing, you know? So so just so people could like I don't want to see on Twitter or the comments saying that he's a cheater because I honestly don't want to I mean technically well he hasn't done anything because he hasn't kissed kissed uh um Kara. Yes he's emotionally involved and emotionally he is with Kara and his heart is with Kara and that's technically cheating technically but out of all the bad things that happen in the world it's not the worst thing but even so why will you want to have him dance in that fine line of being a cheater or not or let people have that conversation where you could have easily say that conversation with Imra we are dumb Imra even though I am conflicted right now because I still feel like I love you because you're my wife and I respect you but I still have feelings for, for her so let's just end this you know that could have been amazing so people don't hate on the character not, not for no reason, because there is a reason right there, but like, there is no need for that. Just let Caramel be happy, like I... Anyways, that's all I want to say. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Supergirl. Subscribe for more, comment in the comment section down below, and that's about it. I will see you guys next week for the season 3 finale of Supergirl. Mwah. Bye guys!